Hello internet and welcome to a video update, I believe this is part 10 and uh, um, this is the progress so far. Um, I've started work on the base, this is going to be the gaming base, so slightly more simple but uh, yeah, as you can see I use two types of cork, I have this, uh, it comes from these, my wife found them in some store where you buy stuff for your home uh, these are like what are they called in English coasters you put your mug on but yeah they're excellent really simple just to tear apart and to use sort of as flat rocks on your base uh, and then I also have this I'm not sure what it's it's called in English but I th it's a piece of cork and you take sort of your sandpaper and wrap around so that you have something to hold on to when you're sanding stuff. I believe that's what it's supposed to be, but as you can see, I pick off pieces to make rocks on the base. Uh, there's four pieces of um, uh, foam core in there, um, just like on my template base, if you remember this base. Uh, and yeah, all the foam core is going to be covered up with cork. Uh, the bottom here is going to be sanded. Uh, whoa, it's not glued on as you can see. I don't want to top it up, have it fall over. But let's turn around. Yeah, so we're going to fill in here with more cork uh, and uh, sand. <laughs> Might put in some more details on the base and grass, of course. I haven't done anything really to the legs, uh, other than I've added in some wires, uh, might do some more. I've uh, mainly been working on the back. As you can see now, the... Whoa, I'm not going to have you fall over. Um, the exhaust pipes are finished. Uh, as I've said earlier, I'm not a fan of the exhaust pipes in the that comes out of the box because they're super tiny. I want big, orcish. Uh, exhaust pipes like these. I think they turned out really really good. This is exactly what exhaust pipes should look on a big vehicle like this. So that's the exhaust pipes from a couple of different angles. Um, they're all made of outer plastic card and the green spots that you can see that's just li li liquid green stuff filled in to sort of um, fill in some gaps here and there. Um, these gaps is because as you see I've sort of glued several uh, pieces of pipe together at odd angles with each other and, and they uh, I, I didn't always get the edges to match up smoothly. Uh, so yeah that's why we have some liquid green stuff in there. That's what it's for! Gap filling! Yay! Um, yeah, uh, these are just sort of typical, the, the typical the design of uh, exhaust pipes that I like. I think they look just splendid. Uh, as you can also see, I've added the spikes, sort of these pyramid shaped spikes to this side and on the other side, sort of more chisel, chisel, chisel shaped. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have a couple of horns sticking out here and. Uh, yeah, and then on the front I've just started adding some plates and rivets. Um, need to cover all the way up into the corners. Uh, I need to cover up here, here, here. So yeah, there's still a bunch of areas that needs to be detailed on the torso. That's, that's the main focus now. Uh, detailing up the torso. But once that's finished, uh, once sort of the, the level of detail on the torso, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Um, then, then we're on to painting actually. Yeah, the arms are done, the legs are done, it's just the torso, the head is already being painted. Uh, so yeah, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This has been a super fun project. Um, I hope you enjoyed following it. It's not finished by by long shot, so I'm not going to talk like I'm wrapping this project up because I'm not. <laughs> Still weeks, weeks more of work to do. But I've already planned uh, sort of 
my next and the next and the next project is already planned. It's going to be more orcs uh, on this YouTube channel. So if you enjoy watching my crazy orc stuff, feel free to subscribe, feel free to sort of like, comment, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is the exot pipes. I hope you've seen them from enough angles to enjoy them. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments or questions or whatever, uh, let me know. And uh, this is me saying thank you, Indra, for watching, uh, and I'll see you later.